Well guys, welcome back to Larson Farms. We are gonna do maybe one of the highly requested farm tours that we've never done before. Now, I think everyone is so curious about our, when we used to raise hogs and we got out of hogs in 2008. 08 I think was the last time we had a group of, so the, the barns have sat empty. They do need a fair amount of work to ever get going again. Uh, but we're gonna do a tour of the farm hog facility. Some of them. Some of them. I don't know if I want to go through all of them. <laughs> do I? We'll go. Th do you? Why would you? I'm not it's going in that stinky cat barn. No, that's off limits. <laughs> you won't even let Toby in you there. You get 15 diseases out of that place. So, put your hoods up, people. It's next to a hurricane. <laughs> So right here, uh, I guess we just start in order. First, I don't first know. First comes with the, the breeding of them. They don't care about this, do they? Yeah, of course they do. The breeding. Now kids, it's nature. Here. <laughs> it's nature, yeah, okay. Here we go then. All right, so. PG-13. It is so windy and horrible. Back in the earlier days, actually all the, everything, all the sows were outside. And then they could go inside and do whatever they did there. But we always fed them outside and the sows. And at certain times, the boars would be introduced to the group of sows. That was mostly all done on the outdoor stuff until the later years when the G barn was built. And then the uh, and then things changed a little bit. But and that the G barn is what our chemical warehouse is now. Converted. We've been converted over to a chemical warehouse. Um, but that's where the sows would... Do we go into chicken coop? I suppose. The sows, that's where they would go to incubate. For those that remember on Instagram, this is converted over to where the chickens were, which they disappeared because something took them. <laughs> but we did not uh, have enough farrowing house room. And the farrowing house, for those that don't know what that is, that is where the saw was put into a crate while they gave birth to the little pigs. And then uh, for safety reasons, that's the way you gotta do it. Otherwise, big mama likes to lay on yeah. little babies. Otherwise it's open pens like this on straw and this is how it started out before you yes. had a farrowing house but yeah. your your death ratio was terrible oh, on baby yes. pigs because mama doesn't care when they flop down and they would get squished. So Mama could have anywhere up to 14 babies even more. I think the record was 21 but obviously she's only gonna, gonna raise as many as she has the teats. Yeah, faucets, I was gonna say. <laughs> so that's up to maybe 12, 14 if you had a real good one. But uh, I think we average maybe 10 and a half to 11 How do you and get a half. half a hog? Well, it's all about the yearly average. The <laughs> you know, farrowing house was not big enough, so we would take out when we had a good group that bred good because there was a lot of issues with breeding, and that's a whole nother thing, but uh, we'd have to take out a few sows with bigger pigs and put in the small pens here, two sows plus their babies, which would come, hey Toby, Toby, maybe, Toby, yeah, yeah, oh, he almost did. <laughs> but the babies would come out here in the alley, we had a wooden box, heat lamp, and Lots of straw cleaning, forklift. Lots of maintenance. Fork, forklift. No. And this is a much bigger building than what that little room is. Obviously, it's maybe 50 feet long, yeah. so it's a lot more pens than that. We just had that for Grandpa's chickens. Chickens, right. So this is actually the more modern side. This is what we call the new farrowing house. So there's, what, 26 crates in here, stainless steel crates? There's only 20. 20, okay. 20. Can you guys see? It's kind of dark in here. Yeah, the lighting is 
taken a massive turn for the dark Here, side. Can, can you see? No, they can't see like that. Oh, the kids are gonna like that one. Oh my. So anyways, this is uh, where the baby pigs were born. Uh, Mama was inside this crate. The sow stayed in the crate for, I think it was back in those days, oh, a month to five weeks, and then they would go back out. Take the little pig away from Mama, and they grow up and do their thing, and Mama goes back outside to see uh, Daddy. <laughs> and it starts all over. So, basically these buildings now to us are worthless. So we're kind of looking to get rid of this Well, stuff. I don't know. It's, there's a lot. Oh, this is a dangerous thing to talk about, but some of this equipment might be for sale. <laughs> some might be for giveaway. <laughs> but I don't want to go down the road of having a bunch of people hollering <laughs> Hey, how much you want for this? How much you want for that? Yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it can get overwhelming with the emails. But uh, the stainless the, steel crate, it's a Thorpe crate. And that's the manufacturer. And I guess there was a long crate and a short crate. These are the shorter ones. If that means something to those that are thinking of wanting them, these are the short ones. I believe they're seven and a half foot instead of eight and a half or it's the short one. That's all I know. And this is where once the little pigs were big enough to eat their own food, they came into here. We got some feeders and stuff that also are needing to leave. Uh, the goal is, I don't know if all the buildings are coming down in the future here, short term future, but Long term? Long term? Well, what, a couple term. of them might be in the near future. Depends on, just depends on stuff. So then the little pigs, yeah, then they grew up in here for a few weeks and they got to be their size. And then you open up the gate and they would run down this hallway. Mm -hmm. Oh, the memories, they're coming back. <laughs> the door seems to be rusted. It's so windy, it's suction. It's like the Metrodome years ago. Yeah, then the little littler pigs would come in here and they'd go into their new new room. Big room. Where Not they more light would, in here. Yeah. And then they stayed in here for a few more weeks until they got big enough because these pens on this side of the barn are narrower. So when they got up to uh, 140 pounds, 150, look at this stuff. Then they'd go to the east end of the barn over here. I think we got a problem with mice. They're eating the insulation out of the ceiling. Look at this. Some more feeders. What? There's some holes in the mouse holes. And good night. Okay, yeah, then they, then we'd move them down to the four east pens here, which are eight feet wide. Partial pit. It was not a well-designed building. No. Should have been a full pit, because Mr. Piggy, they were supposed to sleep up here. Telephone. They're supposed to sleep here, eat here, poop and pee here, yeah. and that goes into the pit. And then you suck the pit out three times a year because it was too small. And I'm definitely not going to act like I know uh, a lot about the farming of hogs because I was very young when uh, I was maybe 12, I think, when we got out of hogs, something like that. So I remember the gist of it and them being around and chasing pigs. I thought it was fun, but now looking back, uh, I'm glad we don't have to do that anymore. I am very, very grateful for the uh, hog cattle. Uh, any livestock industry dairy even though I can't have dairy but uh, that's some hard hours and hard work and stinky work and power washing this was a nightmare uh, yeah thank you guys I mean we're all doing the same thing basically in different industries but uh, so that's a hard job livestock so this was the old old finishing 
finishing that Dad had and Randy and I added on you back added on in the 90s. This portion, which what was the features of this building? Basically the same building, skinnier cement walls, bigger feeders. Bigger feeders, yep. So there is some valuable things in here. Got some nice gates here that could be utilized, I suppose. Got some white PVC uh, sheets of, uh, I think it's PVC, isn't it? Something like that. Anybody that wants any, they can come over and take that off. They can have it, maybe, huh? Boy, these cobwebs are getting bigger as we get east. Boy, it's a good thing oh. we're not in here in the dark. Merlin's booby trapped us with a slip wire. Why is that? The window must not oh, stay. Boy. Oh, they're so rusted. It, yeah. Oh, he's been after it. Oh, boy. Everything. Yeah. yeah. They actually don't smell in here. No. I think it's. I think uh, after this many years that the manure, if it's anything like the G barn, when we ripped that floor out, the manure is just dried up, and I think a lot of the smell left with the Maybe we ammonia. could sack it up and sell it as potting soil. Hmm. Just don't water it. <laughs> but look at this. This has got to be worth some money. Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven of them. I think this might just go in dumpy. <laughs> Scrap iron. And all of this, so. Yeah, just smeared with manure. That should be worth something. Uh, anybody who would want this must have access to a power washer. Look at Are you okay? Are you okay? Well, as you can see, it's, it would be a functioning building, but the water lines needed a bunch of work. I think they're pretty full of rust. The curtain now needs to be totally replaced. Um, what else was wrong? Uh, there's the really roof. Nothing. The roof is getting pretty thin. Yeah, steel. I don't know. I don't think I would. You can't. You. I wouldn't think it's usable. But demoing in here, you got one long stretch of conduit, and I'll guarantee you, I could pull that right off the roof with one hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The aluminum? Is this aluminum? Aluminum ceiling, but with you nails. Know, the guys that installed it, if they're they're alive yet, uh, they use steel nails. So that causes uh, corrosion and as you can see they're rotting around all of the nail heads. Look at that, it's not even Don't no, I'm under that now. It's not even connected. How about this flex spot? line pipe? Hundred and seventy foot long flex line <laughs> pipe. It's a lot of, lot of flex. So I'm sure that a lot of people will look at this and say, why would you rip it down? And I mean, it, it, it needs work, but it would be able to be used, I guess. But we are no longer are going to get into hogs. And the I price of I'm hogs not. isn't that great, correct? Or is it oh, good? I think it's maybe coming back, being all them hogs, that when the, well, let's just say a lot of meat disappeared because there was nobody to process it. So. Let's put Just well. Just saying. Anyways, um, we have some plans in the future here that involve where these sit needing to be open land. So actually just, actually, can we take that end? And remove it? Just pick it up and bring it over to about here. Then we, then we can maintain the roof that blows off every <laughs> once in a while and, and spend money and keep insuring it and you know. <laughs> Everything that everybody does with all the old buildings on the art. Yeah. I don't know. They are Thorpe feeders. So if anybody gives a hootie toot about that, <laughs> they're a Thorpe. <laughs> Thorpe, Thorpe equipment. Oh, this looks like it would work really well. I bet I could plug that in and away we'd go. The auto curtain. Auto curtain. Got two of these. They're free. <laughs> Work when last parked. Is that how they always say that? Oh my. <laughs> oh, you're right. This wall is raised up a drastic amount. Two inches, the door jam. You don't need the knob, you just give a pull. 
So the thing about livestock, not probably any livestock, but hogs are really bad, I would assume, is the rust. Everything, it just rusts to pieces. We, we thought we did it right. Now in the old, old barn here, we knew enough to put the cement pillars in because we, we knew the steel was just not cutting it. And then we went with the PVC gating. Uh, we learned a lesson to go away from the foot and a half access door to the pen because, well, for those that know how pigs move, they don't like this. So then we put the big, big uh, gates on so the whole pen opened up because a pig, when they get moving, they just kind of get pushed up against the wall or whatever, and then they go with the flow. Where here, they would have much rather, they actually, I believe, enjoyed <laughs> standing with their head in the corner, facing the corner. And if they got over in this corner, and they seen that there was an opening, they wouldn't go. They wouldn't leave unless they were able to weasel this rod up <laughs> by themselves and the gate would be pushed open. Then they'd all leave. <laughs> but not if you wanted them to. They just stayed stayed in their normal little pen. Oh, here's a memory. <laughs> so that's the door we came in to show you these two barns finishing. Oh, yeah. So this is, oh wow, they do work. So this is the hallway that brings you into the new nursery, new finishing. New finishing, new farrowing. New farrowing, new nursery. Yeah. But what they're really saying? not new. I don't know, there was a lot of new ones. There was, yeah. Anyways, down this hall is where the old nursery and you farrowing house was at. You're correct. And you wouldn't believe how many pigs have met this pipe. They always want to go side by side this was a very bad engineered, <laughs> that was bad. They always got plugged up there, quite deep. Oh, there's that other curtain controller. Oh, and all of our bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. I could get premium dollars out of that chopper. Get this here. Look at this. I bought $45 I paid for that <laughs> on crazy days in Morse. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Boy, that was the days. I should take we that. Home. We don't get rid of much around here. Memories. I like this. I put, when I used to ride it, I put foam on here because this would hit your tailbone. I did bruise my tailbone. It <laughs> cost me a whole summer of misery. It was bad. Oh boy, we got a snow drift. They aren't going to be able to see in there. Are they? I don't They're know. going in there? Do the lights work? Oh my goodness, lots of cobwebs. Oh gosh. Let's go in the other way then. So that right there, there is where the snow drift was on that side of the door. So you come in here and uh, this was the original nursery, correct? That was the what we call the old nursery. Mm -hmm. That's what was your favorite memory about this building? Here? Oh, it, it okay. was always we aren't really well, we we're kind of tall people, but boy, would this auger give you a wake up call when that got right into your head and shortened your neck up about three inches? That was a memory. Toby, he don't know what to think about this. Toby's never been in here. Think of all the smells. What do you got, Toby? You look like a little pig running around. This is about where that big incident happened with the cherry picker and the old cement slat, and Randy <laughs> ended up up underneath the ceiling here with the slats giving way. So this is a, a, oh, what is this floor called? It's a plastic floor. Very nice floor, clean, but loud. You would not believe. <laughs> how loud the little pig's hooves could be on that floor when you come in the door and they got scared and they all went running around. Deafening. Oh yeah, this is all junk. <laughs> this is junk. But the feeders are good. More Thor feeders. 
I wonder if I got stock in that company. <laughs> I should talk to dad, maybe he does. So this right here is a building that I almost died in as a kid. You didn't really die, you just got a bad galvanized, headache. Galvanized poisoning is what I would call it. I so told him not to smell the fumes. I uh, came in here at maybe a 14 year old. Um, no, you weren't that old. 12? Maybe. And I was told that I got paid if I cleaned the building out, I would get all the scrap iron profits. So I came in here and started cutting up all the old galvanized stuff and was told to hold my breath and... Not hold your breath, <laughs> just don't smoke that fumes, you know. They're, they're Long story short, I had the shivers at two in the morning with a high <laughs> temperature and a headache and... You'll only do that once. Yeah. Now I'm extremely sensitive to galvanized smoke, actually. True factor. You know, this looks like something that Randy would break through with his cherry picker. Yeah, we've actually repaired them, mix up a little sacrete, put a piece of cardboard down there on a twine string holding it up, and then you sit and uh, cement on, new cement on the edges of all them old, oh gosh, the memories. <laughs> so, and then we got really smart and we T-bolted, yeah, T-bolted, tenderfoot on up there where the feed, that's where the feeders were. Each sow had a feeder that you uh, put their food in, and that has salt in it, and whatever else, and water would eat the concrete up. Yeah, and then you had this dilapidated Is concrete. That actually, oh yeah, that's, that's crap. Holy cow, and I'm standing on that? <laughs> it's only four feet. I bet, I bet there's more. Uh, Potting soil in there. Look at that. It's all dried out. Yeah, that'd be easy to clean out. Yeah. Little Bob in this one, Big Bob in the other barn. <laughs> so towards the end of hog raising days or our hog raising days, more so our grandparents. We got in, you got involved in moving them, but it was more so our grandparents, my grandparents, his parents, um, that had the hogs. So. This building was kind of not used anymore. Yeah, the new farrowing took over because everything in this old place was... Outdated, shot, yeah. wore out, rusted. Yeah. Obviously, the cement here is far from... 1977 Lester's building. If anybody has a need of that, I believe it does dissemble. Uh, it's a panel building. Oh, my. So Don't anybody either. that wants to come take that down too, hands... Go at it, because I really would like to take, keep the pit here, put a liner in it, and get it lined for our diesel fuel barrel containment. Uh, what's that called when you use something? Recycle. Recycle, reuse, re repurpose. Repurpose. So that's my idea. If I win, we'll see. I've got maybe 10, 15, 20, 25 years left of seeing. If you know what I mean. To the calendar, July of 2008. I don't want to ask. What? Oh, I thought you were going to tell him what was wrote on. Oh, yeah, it says Ashley was here. That was my brother's girlfriend. What do you think they were doing in here? <laughs> what were you doing up here? <laughs> Yeah, he was always trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Woo! It's a lot nicer in here. Well, I cool. think that concludes the video. That uh, I know I've had a lot of emails and people wanting to know what the inside of the barns were like, and there it is, I guess. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of good wood in the rafters and the purlings. Purlins? Yeah, the excavator will look real nice. No, somebody roof. is going to need that lumber, but uh, that person that needs it you is going to be the one is, that takes it down. Lumber is so expensive right, right now. Right, that's what I mean. This is good And we good could maybe even charge more for the lovely fumes that come out of the wood, like the musky boar pig smell. You might not want to buy or use the wood in your new house. That <laughs> might not be. But you know what? I smell a whole lot better right now than I did back in years ago when that had mm -hmm. had full had full was full 
Pigs? I can't talk. My cheeks are cold. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next video.